In today's video, we're going over real estate rental arbitrage, coming up next. Short-term rental arbitrage is the practice of renting properties and subletting them on a short-term rental platform. It's becoming more difficult to own property as home prices have far outpaced median income. That's why this strategy allows you to build cash flow without the stress and challenges of home ownership. Are you looking to live the life you've always wanted through real estate? That's exactly why I made this channel. For you, the new and experienced investor, make sure that you subscribe Hit that like button and share it with your friends. Is short-term rental arbitrage legal? Yes, as long as all parties know that um, this is what your intention is. Uh, so for example, um, maybe you approach an owner of a four unit complex. So he owns a fourplex and it's a block away from Disneyland. And you've decided, okay, I wanna turn this into an Airbnb type thing. Um, can't do it now because Anaheim has a moratorium on it, but I'm just kind of giving you an example. So you, you put this property, the whole fourplex under contract, the seller wants $2,000 a month for each unit. And you know that if you put this on Airbnb, you could probably make four to $6,000 a month, which means that you're cash flowing, you know, four to, you know, two to $4,000 a month on just one unit. Then you multiply that by four units and you can see that it can become very profitable. But you have to make sure that everybody knows, everybody's aware of what you're doing. How do I convince my landlord to accept short-term rentals? And again, this is just a conversation that you're gonna have with a party that owns a piece of property and you're gonna explain to them what you're going to do. Um, you're gonna furnish the place, you're gonna paint it. You basically take in the responsibility of taking care of everything inside. It's not a normal tenant landlord relationship. You've decided you wanted to step up and uh, be in the game of arbitrage. And that means that you take care of everything inside that property, including any issues that you have with Airbnb, with uh, tenants, or Airbnb clients that are renting the place, they're making too much noise, if they've destroyed the place, you're responsible to take care of all that. Just make sure, again, that both parties in this transaction know exactly what's going on so that there's no surprises at the end of the day. How can I make my rental arbitrage business successful? And you can literally start with one, and after you get the uh, idea down and you get all the logistics down, you're looking to expand. So you start with one and get all that worked out and then just go to the next one, next one, next one. It, you know, you may look back a year later and you have 20 properties that are under contract that you're doing a rental arbitrage on. Obviously, you're doing one, you're the one that's doing all the work. Believe me, when you get to 20, you better have a staff of people that are, are re ready, they're responsive, you've got cleaning, you've got paying vendors, you've got handymen, you've got a bigger, bigger piece of uh, work that needs to be done when you have 20 as opposed to one. But you, ne you definitely need to start out with that first one. Like most real estate strategies, this is just one way to create a successful business. So make sure you have multiple exit strategies in mind just in case things change. If you're new to investing and want to know more about rental arbitrage, click on this video right here or book some time with me one-on-one -on -one down below. As always, I'm always here to help.